Information Timeline. In this video, you will learn how information develops over time, as well as learn the length of time it takes to create different types of sources. The Information Timeline is how information develops over time and what resources are available at that time. It helps to think of a current event like COVID-19 pandemic or even a natural disaster. An event occurs. What happens? Bing! Your cell phone has a notification for you. So now what? Do you go check real quick? What is it? Maybe it's just a friend texting you, family, sending you a message, or something's happened on social media. Bing! 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 Where do you first hear about an event? Something's happening right now. When do you hear about social it? Social media. Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever you use, it's instant. It's quick. Where do we get the information from these? Raw information, raw facts. That's where all this information comes from. All over the world, people are posting information, especially when an event occurs. It might be big, it might be small. When it's big, we definitely hear about it over the news. So, what happens over the next couple of days? More information is made available, investigations are possibly beginning, research might be happening on depending when and what event it is. So, where do we find more information? Television, news broadcasts like CNN, as well as online blog posts are other options of where information can come up and made available to us. The difference between these two, well, generally in traditional news media, uh, information has been fact-checked and involves several different interviews with guided questions. Over time, weeks go by, and now what is available? What is possible to provide to the public? Well, with enough time, there is enough time to have a proper analysis of that event. So analyzing the event is the process of examining something at its most basic levels. With the passing of time, we can examine all raw data, facts, compare testimonials or interviews, and a more thorough fact-checking process can begin. Detailed news articles are printed along with magazine articles. Now here's the difference between both. News articles can actually be published within days. So. Um, from one day to the next, another news article can be published as well as updated as well. And that's the key point here. When you go from social media to something that's been printed and officially reviewed by people, um, you have the raw data in, in terms in social media, but in a news article, a magazine article, it's not just any one person, possibly opinion, some a fact, some of the information has been filtered, reviewed, and you can see that, okay, they've updated this information. Um, they, they, they provided a wrong piece of information. Perhaps one of the numbers was wrong in one of their charts, and they do publish a retraction or a correction to that. You don't get that with social media. So what happens now? Time is going on, months are starting to pass now, and what are we able to gain? We're able to gain context now. It's the circumstances that surrounded that event. So, as time continues, we can get that context for our event. And even documentary films are being developed and actually released. And so, generally in a documentary film, they've gone through, reviewed people, looked at the raw footage, as well as uh, located and found different people, um, making sure that they got as much of the story as possible from eyewitness accounts. Now, what happens uh, as we go further on into years? Well, that's when you start to see books being developed and these resources generally tend to have more filtered information. And so, that includes uh, sources like scholarly articles and encyclopedia articles. Um, this filtered data that's in all of these types of materials can be very detailed as well as 
completely filtered out. So as you see with um, the, the documentary film and other items, um, the information has been reviewed well as getting a group of people who were at the event um, and, and checking to see and comparing stories that build upon that story as well as research into well, why did this happen or how did this happen, um, what led up to this. So all that inf filtered information, everything that's happened from fact and analysis and context has now generated these detailed uh, materials to provide you as much information as possible. So think about this. The, currently, the COVID-19 pandemic is throughout the entire world. We're in the months stage right now. In terms of our timeline here, do you think we would find books for COVID-19? Not enough time has passed, right? Which means what? Right now, we're still in months, which means maybe somebody's actually starting to uh, create a documentary film. Um, perhaps they're focusing on specifically one country and how they've dealt with the pandemic. Um, what if you do need a source? What if you want to talk about the COVID-19 pandemic in your uh, research topic? Because it's such a current topic, you won't find a specific book talking about this is all that happened, this is what happened, this is how it started, this is how it ended. We don't have an end right now, which means to in order to find a book, what we need to do is find what happened in the previous pandemic or in a pandemic that was very similar to the beginning of this one, which means what? You would go back and actually look at probably what happened with SARS as well as what happened with the Spanish influenza. Those are the two that are most commonly linked to uh, what's happening with COVID-19 right now, which means you've got two examples there where you could search for books and then you can talk about it in comparison but about what happened with SARS. So you can make some direct comparisons to what's happened in the past and looking in uh, these kind of materials with books and other sources. And so that's one of the other things that a librarian can help with is that if you can't think of, well, how can I find a book on something like this that's more current? This is what we can help with is thinking about what piece of information can you find now? And what piece of information uh, are you gonna be able to find for these different other types of sources that might be required for you in each assignment that you're doing uh, based on the course? So if you need any assistance, contact the library. You can call us at 915-747-5643 or text us at 915-249. 3383 or ask us at liveanswers.utep.edu